Hi, it's Mandy from Mindset for Success with today's Mindset Matters. Now, today I would like to share with you some insights I've gained this week from conversations that I've had with some clients and some friends. And one of the themes that's come up this week is when I've unpacked what's going on for, for some of my clients, it seems that they're not really living life on their terms. A lot of what they're doing is driven by obligation. Um, the things they say to themselves are like, I should do this, I need to, I ought to. But when this happens, at the deepest level, we are not fulfilled. We're either bored or we're stressed. So we either have some type of anxiety, frustration or worry, which erodes our happiness. So I'm, one question I suggested to my client that she asked herself, and we did this in our session, is what are you tolerating in your life? And she wrote down this huge list of things she was tolerating from visiting some of the in-laws, having to go and do things at weekends for other people, um, lots and lots of things, things in the work and the business world, and a whole load of things that she was uh, really didn't want to do. So then I said, okay, there's two things you can do. One is you can change the meaning and the words and the story that you put around some of the things that you think you're tolerating. So you change your perspective on it. We managed to do that on some of them. And then on some of the others, I said, well, what would happen if you said no and you looked after yourself first? Because Lots of people in life have been taught that we must look after others before ourselves. Yet in my world, looking after yourself first is critical for your health, for your happiness. And if you're not filling your energy up with things that fulf fulfill you, then it's really hard for you to have energy and help others. So it can be a little bit of a confronting way to look at life. But the thing with this is if you're not living part of your life or some of it on your terms, you're not making the most of it. And I was reading another article this week, um, which is about the expected age that we're living to. No longer is it retire at 65 because the life expectancy was in our 70s. It's now about 82. And if we're healthy, we may live to be 100. So I was talking to a client who wanted to reinvent themselves. Um, because they were doing a lot of what they, what they were doing out of obligation. So wherever you are in your life, you may not be able to make massive changes, but you can always change your perspective on how you look at things. And there's always a few things that you can say no to, put some boundaries around your life and sprinkle in some time to do the things that you love to do. Because, hey, it's a tough world out there. There's a lot of people struggling. Um, a lot of people melt down. Happiness and health is diminishing. And I believe it's our responsibility to step up and shine our light brightly. And I'll just finish. If you're looking for a little bit of inspiration, I'm going to finish with a few words from um, a poem you may or may not have heard from a Bonnie Ware, who was a palliative nurse. And at the end of her, her time, she said these are the words and the phrases that she got from most people before they passed away. And this is, they wish they'd had the courage to live a life true to themselves and not the lives expected of them. They wish they hadn't worked so hard. They wish they had more courage to express their true feelings. They wish they'd stayed in touch more with their friends and they wish they'd let themselves be happier. So have a look at what you're tolerating in your life. Put on your oxygen mask first so that you can be inspired, so that you can share and help others. And perhaps there are things that you can say no to or you can reframe some of the things that you're looking at, put a different boundary around it. And if you know that you'd like to reinvent yourself or change certain aspects of you and your identity so that you can future-proof your life, then I'd love to help you. I'm opening up an academy um, in July this year and it's especially for people who would like to become the best version of themselves, need some tools, someone they can trust. Perhaps they're just trying to find better meaning and understanding how they can live a more fulfilled and meaningful life perhaps have a greater impact and influence others. So I'll put 
um, a link down below to get in touch with me and make sure that you go and have some fun, do something for yourself and remember, don't take yourself too seriously. Thank you. It's Mandy from Mindset for Success.